As a young art historian, I was attracted to many of John's contemporaries who used abstract expressionist bright colors. John's was always difficult for me. Everything in the work seems to be veiled. It took a while for me to discover certain wonderful secrets, this marvelously mysterious ghost of an American flag seems to hide itself behind these layers of built-up wax. The work is reticent, perhaps even a little chilly, and wanting in a way to look behind that surface. You see tantalizing glimpses of headlines coming through, pictures from the newspaper pages, almost visible. One might think that it perhaps has to do with some sort of politics. But of course, John says the idea to paint an American flag came to him in a dream. For him, it really is more about having a structure that's pre-existing, within whose boundaries he can experiment. The work is really radical in its texture, if you look closely at the stars, each one is separately cut out and collaged onto the surface. Another experiment is the use of encaustic paint, hot beeswax that cools instantly. So you have the possibility of a rapid painting approach that at the same time captures each and every individual brush stroke within the surface. It's almost like a sculpture. It has a kind of relief surface. And it's also made out of three different canvases, and that messes with our idea of what makes a painting. One of the meanings, perhaps, of this work is that we don't have access to everything we want to have access to. We don't really understand the ghost-like things that come to us in our dreams. We don't always understand what we read in the newspaper. We don't understand fully how this nation was put together as I warmed up to this picture, I realized that a work can be inscrutable and you can still love it. John's is one of those amazing artists whose work with you as a viewer is never finished. <laughs>